Hello students, welcome to the next session. Today we shall be learning about experiment number 5 in your lab syllabus which is creating Maven Java and Maven Web project using Eclipse and pushing them to GitHub. So today I shall be teaching you how to create a Maven Java project in Eclipse and how to push them into GitHub. So basically Maven is an automatic build tool that means it automatically compiles, tests and packages your project whatever you have written especially the Java project. But we are using Eclipse IDE to learn this particular Maven build tool in a manual way. So first we shall learn how does this Maven build tool actually work manually. So by understanding step by step procedure of this Maven build tool by doing everything manually, we will get a very clear picture as to what exactly is this Maven build tool and what happens inside it. Okay, so once we get idea about this Maven build tool in Jenkins, we shall see how this Maven build tool will run automatically. That is the reason we have chosen this Eclipse IDE to create Maven projects to learn everything manually. So first we will learn manual things. Okay, so we will build our project manually. We will see how the build process of Maven will actually run. We will do everything in a manual procedure. After learning everything correctly, after understanding what is this Maven, and then we will move on to Jenkins, where we will be using this Maven uh, build tool to do things automatically. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to create Maven Java project. For that, we have to go to File click on new and then go to other. In other, you will be finding an option called as Maven project. Okay, then you have to click on next. Make sure that your uh, internet connection is stable, only then the project will work a bit quicker. Okay, then click on next. The next thing we have to do here is to select an archetype. So basically, in uh, your particular uh, Maven, the archetype is nothing but your project template. Okay, it saves our time. Okay, it, it, uh, it has all the basic files and the structure uh, that your project will actually need. So for that you have to type org.apache.maven. Okay, and you have to wait a little bit so that it will display all the necessary artifacts here. Now, if you can see here, the first thing I have written is org.apache.maven. Okay, this is called as the reverse domain naming. Generally, we use such type of reverse domain naming to avoid confusion with other projects, okay, which will have similar names. So, this is the procedure basically followed to avoid confusion and uh, to give some uh, innovative uh, names to your particular project, right? So, here org is nothing but your organization. Apache is uh, the group uh, which is behind uh, the Maven, okay, the Apache Software Foundation, the group behind Maven and Maven is the Maven project. So, you, these are all the archetypes that, that means the templates that you already have in your Maven. Make sure that the checkbox is uh, unchecked here which says show the latest version of the archetype, okay. Now, if you scroll down, you will find an option called as quick start you have to go for version 1.4 which is stable. Now I am choosing quick start because it is the easiest way to start a very simple Java project okay which has everything ready for you. It, it does not have all, uh, unnecessary type of uh, files and all. So we, since we are learning basic level of how this build tool works and all. So let us take a very sm simple template of uh, Maven Java project. So for that you have to select this Maven ar archetype quick start which is of stable version 1.4, okay. If you are not checking this box, you will get 1.5 only here. So, to get this 1.4, remove this checkbox. Now, click on next here, right. So, it will ask you for some uh, group ID or something here. You can give any group ID, some innovative uh, thing of your uh, uh, project. Like, for example, you can say uh, org or you can say com. Uh, some app dot demo. Okay, this is the company name which is owning your particular project. You can give anything. 
com dot app dot kmit anything you can give here uh, artifact id will be your project title so give me give us a project title here so for example uh, maven java project will be your title here okay and then click on finish right you can see here that uh, your project is now successfully created as you can see here now if you expand this click on this to expand now you can see uh, you have uh, source file uh, here src main java so this is the folder in which you will have your main code you have app.java here okay so this app.java basically contains the basic hello world program as you can see here with the complete template okay and then you have the src test java this is a folder for test files okay and uh, then you have the uh, app.java as i've told you then you have the pom.xml which is a very important file which uh, manages your project settings and uh, dependencies and all okay so this is how your project is being now your maven project is uh, successfully uh, created here the next thing we have to do is uh, run the maven build cycle okay since i told you we have to learn everything manually we have to build the project manually so for that what we have to do is to right click on the project after right clicking on the project click on run as and now the first step you have to do is to click on maven clean okay so maven clean what it does is it basically deletes this target folder the previous builds of your particular uh, project right and make sure that in your console you have to get build success that means the cleaning pro procedure is done perfectly after cleaning is completed then again right click and click on run as maven install so this is going to compile your code whatever the java code that you have written it compiles everything and it converts into the byte code so you have to wait until your uh, build is success here once the build is success here then again right click click on run as and now click maven test that means you are testing your project so by default some test uh, case will be written here uh, using j unit so your project will be tested and you have to wait until build success here now once that is completed click on, right click and now the next one will be maven build so you have to click on maven build so when you click on maven build it will ask for goal here so in goal you have to write clean space install space test that means you are mentioning that whoever will be using my particular project every time they run they have to follow this clean install test goal okay this is the procedure how you have to build the project so you have you can write clean install test these are the goals that you are mentioning people who are using your project or you can simply write a package also that is also would be fine so you can remove all of this and simply write package also right and then apply and then run okay so you have to wait until build is success here so it will show you the build is successful so once the build is successful it means that the dot jar file will be generated okay so it says build successful now let us open this target uh, folder and now you can see that dot jar file is now successfully created okay so now the jar file is created let us run the project and check whether it is running properly or not now right click and say run as java application right click on okay now in your console it is showing hello world okay so whatever you you are writing in the sprint ln the output will be displayed here right now we have successfully built our maven java project right now the next step is to push this project into the github so the first thing we have to do is to create a new repository in our github give some name so i'll give sample maven java project okay then scroll down you will find one option called as add dot git ignore here you need to select for maven 
and search Maven and click on it. This, what it will do is, generally your Maven uh, project, Maven whenever it creates any Java project, it will create some unnecessary folders like, you know, temporary folders, some log folders and all. So when you are saving that project from a local system into a re remote repository, you, you don't need all this unnecessary log files, temporary files and all. So when you click on this git ignore template of Maven, your uh, GitHub will make sure that it is not saving all these unnecessary files. So you should make sure that you are selecting it. Otherwise, all unnecessary files will be dumped into your repository. Okay, now click on click create repository. Your uh, repository will be successfully created. Once it is created, go to code. Click on this, copy this URL. Okay, now select for git bash in your local system. Open git bash. Okay, and now type git clone and then right click and paste the URL. So it is telling that uh, everything will be cloned now. Now go into this folder, right? Type CD. Now go into this folder. Okay. So you can see that I'm inside this particular folder now, right? Now in your local system, Now, basically, there are two ways to push your uh, project into GitHub. First, I will show you one way in this particular Maven Java project. The other way I will show you while I am creating Maven web project. Okay. So, go to C users. You will find your name here. Inside this particular folder, you will find one uh, folder which is called as Eclipse Workshop, Workspace, as you can see here. Click on it. Search for the project that you have created. So, I have created a project which is called as Sample maven java project you can see all of this copy all of this okay copy this copy go back so when you go back and you scroll down you will see one folder called as Ma sample maven java project this is the folder that you have right now cloned from your github paste everything here okay now everything is successfully pasted. Once you finish pasting, come back to git bash. Okay. And now say git. Now say git add dot. Okay. And then say git commit hyphen m and say sample maven java. Okay. Now everything is committed. Once everything is committed, say git push. Okay, everything is now pushed. Now go back to your uh, GitHub and just refresh. You can see that your files are now successfully copied. So this is one way of uh, creating Maven Java project, building it manually and pushing the project into the GitHub. In the next session, I will teach you how to create Maven web project, how to build it manually, and I will show you another way to push the project into GitHub. Thank you.